For today's video, I will be making Shri Nitro Phthalic Acid for my synthesis of luminol. For the chemicals needed, we will need 30 grams of phthalic anhydride and 28.4 milliliters of both concentrated nitric and sulfuric acid. To get started, I added 30 grams of phthalic anhydride to a 250 milliliter flask. which was then followed by 28.4 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. Also, don't be like me and not wear gloves when handling corrosive acids. You should always wear gloves when handling chemicals with only a few exceptions. Once all the sulfuric acid is added, I will begin to slowly add the 28.4 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid. As the nitric acid is added to the sulfuric acid, nitric acid accepts a proton from the sulfuric acid and forms the nitronium ion. After all the nitric acid is added, I swirl the flask just to make sure everything is mixed. I would then heat the flask in a boiling water bath for 2 hours. The phthalic anhydride reacts with the nitronium ion, which nitrates the third position of the aromatic ring. After 2 hours, I let the flask cool down and then add it to 75 ml of water. When Shri Nitro Phthalic Anhydride is added to water, it hydrolyzes to Shri Nitro Phthalic Acid. The flask was then washed with a bit of water to get out as much of the reaction mixture. The beaker containing our product is then cooled in the fridge overnight. After cooling, crystals of Shri Nitrophallic Acid will crystallize out while the side products stay in solution. The crystals were separated by vacuum filtration and then wash with some cold water. The crude product is then transferred to a beaker to perform a recrystallization. Boiling water was then added to the crude Shri Nitrophallic Acid until everything dissolves. Once everything dissolves, I'll cool the solution in the fridge overnight. After cooling, crystals of pure Shri Nitrophallic Acid have formed. The crystals were again separated by vacuum filtration. And was washed with cold water. The wet Shri Nitrophallic Acid was then dried in the oven for a few hours and the yield was measured. The yield came to be low at around 12 grams of product. A low yield like this should be expected as this reaction mainly produces 4 Nitrophallic Acid. Anyways, this is the end of today's video and I'll see you in my next one. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already.